Hi, thank you for coming to Take 10 today, and I am with Virginia Webster. She is a financial services provider, but more than that, she has a history of being in a ministerial family for the last 29 years. Her and her husband, Ken Webster, have pastored, uh, taken care of a lot of things. He has an accounting firm, and they know how to do it. And I want to ask her some very special questions. And if you missed our other segments with her, just go back and forth wherever you are. Uh, if you're on YouTube or you're, you're uh, uh, in my blog or you're, you're at the ministrylaunch.com site or you're on Facebook, just find a way around. And you'll find another segment that I, I did with Virginia, which was very telling and will help motivate you to do something. You don't have to be without as you grow older or you don't have to live without protection while you move forward. The Lord is able to help you in your quest to help humanity. He wants you to take care of yourself. And I, I want to ask you, Virginia, yes, if you have a young couple, uh, 25 to 30, say 25 to 35, and they haven't done anything, what would you suggest that they would do to protect their life, uh, insurance for passing, uh, funeral expenses being taken care of, and may not be investment gurus, right. find out something about investing uh, those programs? Uh, I would think that one of the first things I'd do, Bishop, is maybe, uh, again, do an analysis, financial needs analysis, to see where you are and what your needs are. So a lot of times, you know, people go out and just buy some life insurance, which is really nothing more than knocks on the door. Uh, a yeah. burial plan, right? And it's not really going to deliver what it is that you really, really need. So we take an assessment of what it is that you need, what kind of income do you need to replace should you go on to glory and leave a family behind. And in, in, in doing that, that's only part of the plan. We do definitely believe in life protection, but you definitely also need to make sure that you are investing. And it's important we teach a concept that's called buy term and invest the difference to make sure that you are getting a term life policy that you know covers you for a specific period of time, number of years, it, while your kids are young, while you have a mortgage and debt. While you have more, right. more exactly. responsibility, you get exactly. a, a larger, and then it decreases the... Well, Definitely. And so then while, when you get older, you've already started investing while you were young, while you were in your 20s and 30s. That's money that's being accumulated over a period of time, the next 35 years. You have a significant amount of assets that you can use for retirement or just wealth, wh whatever it is you want to do. But the concept would be right now to get inexpensive life insurance that is going to cover you if you're 30 or 20 for the next 25, 30 years, and then make sure that you are investing already. There's a problem with waiting. When you wait, there's only one person you hurt, and it's yourself. You know, we, we do have some things going for us, leaving, living a, a, a godly life, mm -hmm. a living a clean life, a person that doesn't smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes it real easy for you to, to get this when you're young. Right. Uh, I, I think that when they start getting older, uh, we all start get, uh, getting a few ailments, mm -hmm. and that makes life a little tougher. Mm -hmm. And so uh, if, if someone's in their 50s and they've never done anything, what do we have to believe God for to turn this around and move ourselves toward a strong retirement or so, I mean, many of us are going to preach just to get right. If you have a, a services uh, organization and you're feeding kids, you, you're going to do that till you pass. But there is a time when you would like to have the choice to do it on your time. Exactly. You know, my wife and I are there right mm -hmm. now to do it on the, the time and not be uh, punching at 8 to 5 o'clock, making it work, get somebody else. What would you suggest or what is available? What kind of vehicle would you suggest for somebody that, that is at 50 to 60 and they really got to beat the clock and go toward getting some stuff done. Right. So with someone that's up in age, one of the things we're going to talk about I know is what, <laughs> what is it that you've already accumulate and okay. what we can do with what you, you, you now have. Many times pastors have worked in the past in the corporate world or wherever, maybe they were school teachers, sure. and we can roll that money over and put it in a vehicle where it's going to be sustained and get a guaranteed interest rate on it. That you can turn into income for the rest of your life. We have those kinds of programs. We teach different things, again, depending on the age. So someone who's middle age and up in age and looking forward to retirement, we always teach the concept that retirement is not an age. It's a number. And right. what is that number? You need to know your financial independence number. One day you're going to need to yeah, be exactly. independent of a paycheck, mm -hmm. and right? And so you need to know that number and how I can move you from where you are, calculate a plan, come up with a strategy for you to start saving now 
to get you to where you need to be. You know, I, I, uh, I hesitate to even say anything about this, but, but Social Security is so, so minimal mm -hmm. to the life you've been living, uh, no matter what level of life you've been in, it's so li minimal that it will not sustain you. It will not. To where you're going, and uh, like my father-in-law said, he's in his uh, 80s, that it takes all of his Social Security to pay his supplemental <laughs> of his Medicare. Right. So that he takes care of that. Now, I, I, I've got him some help since then, but most people just wait till an insurance agent knocks on the door, mm -hmm. gives them something, that, how much down and how much a month, right. and find out that nobody's interested in what you need. Right. You know, and you, you being a financial service advisor, uh, you, you help them, you provide her, you help them. Show them. Yes, Show them. Definitely. Again, I talked about the fact that a lot of times people just get a burial plan of $10,000 or $30,000, which is only going to put you in the ground realistically. But what about the things that you're going to leave behind or the family member, the wife, the kids, uh, the mortgage? All those things need to be covered. So we consider it to be income replacement versus life insurance. There you right? go. So income replacement to make sure that those that you love that are remaining, that they're properly taken care of and the goals and the dreams that you had for your family continues and they can come to, to realization. And if you've accumulated anything at all, uh, you could be looking at a death tax. That's it. You could, you could, there's so many things that, that we have to work out, mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and it's much nicer to work with someone that says, hey, let me see where you are. Exactly. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to pay attention to the zeros. I just want to see where you are, what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. and where we can go from here. Because we as faith people, right? we know that God can turn it around in a couple yes, of can. years. Uh, but he often, in my life, does not do that till the vehicle is ready. Exactly. So you get the vehicle ready. And for those of you that are, are just starting corporations or you're starting uh, uh, to do your ministry, be prepared. Early on, you may not take a salary from your corporation or from your ministry. Uh, you may be doing all of this, but it could be that from early on, the board would set into motion exactly. that, that you would be provided a, 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 a term insurance, a key man policy, key person policy. Key, man po key person policy. I have to say the right words. Mm -hmm. Key person <laughs> policy so that, so that, that, that you're, it's taken care of the things you've had going on in the organization and the ministry is taken care of and your, your desires and terms are taken together. So, so you need about a half hour of their time. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes to, to get started. Yes. And, and then you can come back to them and show them. And it's really a relationship. It's a long-term relationship that we're going to develop that's going to walk you through over the years when things change and maybe your financial needs change and maybe your life insurance needs change. And when that does, we can increase the policy, lower policy, whatever we need to do to make sure that it's the right vehicle for you. I, I, I really happen to personally like... Uh, what you do i've known that business for and that company for a long long time for for, for in its inception mm -hmm. uh when it was under a man's name right, right. and uh, it was a, it was a coach that just wanted to do something different right for, in the system and i've really been a, an admirer of that system because you could up and down change it make it work mm -hmm. but it, like you say you have to have that relationship in uh the business mm -hmm. to help you walk through it and so we're going we're gonna to be connecting you to Virginia Webster, and uh, you can just, you can, it's all right there in the email you, you received or uh, down in the, the comments, somewhere uh, on the communication that you have right now is there. And if you can't find it anywhere, email me. I'll connect you to the Websters, and they can help you with accounting needs. Uh, they even have a, a wonderful marriage uh, seminar, yes. and they can help your church or help help uh, things that, that can, can be in your marriage seminar. And I hope in those marriage seminars, you're helping some of them find their way to financial Definitely. security That's uh, part of the marriage. And, and figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, it's the number one reason people, people seem to divorced. hang up and, and get divorced. That's God true. bless you. Thank you for taking 10 with us today, and we'll see you next time.